Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what you can do if you have problems with USB devices which are constantly connecting and disconnecting. Of course, it starts with disconnecting usually and then reconnecting immediately. So a lot of users on Windows, Windows 10, uh, they are experiencing such problems uh, every couple of months or every couple of years and there's almost no Nobody who ha doesn't have these problems and today I'm going to give you my favorite or my top four solutions to how to resolve that and even uh, my latest bonus tip on that so let's start a little bit with the normal things which you can do you can press the Windows key and then type USB and then you have actually here USB settings and then you can do a couple of things like uh, it there's an instruction how to update USB drivers uh, checking USB uh, devices and but there's not much you can do there's a little bit more like when you go to the device manager and here you have the devices and you can check for your USB controllers but usually it's difficult there's not much you can do and it's not uh, very frequent uh, when there are problems here uh, luckily usually it's uh, much easier to solve you don't have to dig so deep into the system so what's my number four my number four is usually when devices get old this is uh, yeah that this happens i mean when you have a, like a keyboard or mouse or so like you have something wired uh, microphone webcam or so after maybe 10 years or so they get older and sometimes they start to lose connection and uh, yeah they are not uh, so effective anymore and they are losing connection and they try to reconnect losing again connection and try to reconnect and sometimes it's just time to replace them maybe let's say as a rule of thumb maybe after 10 years if you are having pro with, uh, problems with a device and you never had problems and you haven't changed anything maybe it's time to replace then my number three that's uh yeah very very frequent when you have like a wireless device and you have like it's it's a battery operated device and the battery is draining and is running on low power it can happen that uh, every now and then it starts disconnecting tries to reconnect disconnecting reconnect depending on the type of battery usually like with the old type of uh, batteries which we have been using and sometimes you can even buy that uh, the like the voltage is going down very slowly uh, usually doesn't happen with lithium ion or so but uh, with all type of battery sometimes it happens that the voltage goes down then increases a little, a little bit again goes down again and so on and this can happen so maybe it's time just check on uh, battery if you have problem with the device check on charge and battery with this device it's always a good idea to check on that then my number two already the number two that's when you are using like a usb hub and yeah you have been using it and it was good for some time and now you are uh, using additional devices and maybe it doesn't have enough power to support all these devices this can happen uh, maybe also when these uh, usb hubs age a little bit this can happen also over time i've seen that as well uh, many times and this uh, maybe you can solve this problem by just adding a power supply to these uh, to your hub i mean some of the hubs they have the possibility to add power supply and if you have that uh, you can do that and you don't have to change anything it just needs a little bit more power and this is something which you can use if you do not already have something like that you can see that looks like normal usb hub 
but it has a power cable you can see that down here there's not only the data cable there's also the 5 volts you can see that on the right side now it has a additional 5 volts input so it doesn't only have the power from your computer it also has additional 5 volt so it makes everything running much more stable that's a really really good idea especially if you have a, like a large trap with maybe 5 or 10 or 15 or even 20 things and they all are consuming power so it's a good advice to use a hub which has a power supply i mean of course maybe you have a, a already power supply and you still have the problem power supplies can die over time i mean after 10 years usually it's uh, as well end of lifetime and that could be that you just have to replace it here i think i have found a really good uh, thing and it's difficult to find something like that uh, which is really good and cheap and uh, reliable and has power and uh, yeah it has a lot of things here I think that's not a bad choice here and we will definitely put down the link to this listing on Amazon into the description so you can check it out and uh, if you like it just uh, buy it as even a 20 port on top of the 14 ports sometimes you get uh, like seven ports switchable but uh, i haven't seen it anymore uh, it was super cheap and uh, but I, I i don't see this anymore maybe you can find it again and yeah that's already we are already uh, coming almost to an end and now that's the number one tip and that's a really 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 important tip and i mean maybe in 10 years we don't have to talk about this problem anymore but especially these days when we still have the old motherboards but we have been switching a lot of people have been switching to usb 3.0 with a lot of devices here you can see usb 2.0 but a lot of manufacturers now are using usb 3.0 i mean we have a lot of usb 3.0 ports on your on our computers we usually when we buy such a usb hub we are buying usb 3.0 zero hubs and uh, but we don't need them for a lot of things especially like for charging or if you just want to attach a mouse or a keyboard or microphone or uh, webcam usually we are still good with usb 2.0 so why is there a problem with usb 3.0 because you usb 3.0 uses up a lot more endpoints and there's a limitation of i can't remember how many endpoints but but if you're using usb 3.0 uh, you are using them up really really fast especially if you are using like a multimedia devices like uh, things which you can have a lot of things like uh, webcams or microphones or sometimes even keyboards which have uh, additional usb ports and so on and uh, then when you are at the end of the available endpoints then uh, yeah it uh, starts uh, disconnecting connecting disconnecting connecting and so on so how to prevent that yeah if you have like uh, things some of the equipment plugged in on usb 3.0 no matter if it's directly on your pc or if it, you are using a usb hub 3.0 buy something like that uh, like a hub usb 2.0 and put all the things which you which don't need usb 3.0 put all the things here and you will solve this issue instantly no uh, configuration change need uh, needed you don't have to do anything just replace your usb hubs and then it's done so that's a very very important uh, thing and a lot of people don't know about that and they get into these problems and they don't know how to solve and uh, I mean they will come out uh, with new motherboards new, new controllers and the problem will be solved maybe in 10 years we don't have to talk about these problems anymore but nowadays it's a huge problem and now let's come to my bonus tip that's uh, on this web page that's really interesting i just learned this today there's a free tool from 
uh, nearsoft.net here uh, i'll put down the link to this website also into the description so you can download this really nice tool by the way you can download you have to go down here and then you have normal i think that's the 32 bits and we here we have the 64 bits utility and what you can do you can see uh, whenever your system tries to connect or i mean like a device is trying to connect to usb you will see that with a timestamp and uh, i have already installed that you can see that here this is you don't have to install it's just like download extract and you can run it and here what's really important it's on the right side I mean uh, yeah I make this a little bit wider actually it's even more on the right side this is the thing which you need last plug unplug date and time so here you have uh, like a triangle you can click on that and then you get the latest update what uh, has happened and you can see at what time it has been last time uh, trying to uh, connect or uh, disconnect and you will see uh, if you're a little bit lucky it will tell you what device it was so you get uh, some kind of indication uh, yeah what device really has tr been triggering the problem i think that's a really nice help if you have really a lot of devices i mean usually uh you you buy something you plug it in and then you get the problem you know it was the latest thing which you have been uh plugging in and it's not so difficult but you ha if you have like same configuration it, and it starts with a problem yeah it could be a nice help if you have this information here so yeah that's actually it i mean by the way i've been already checking this download on virus to total <laughs> or virus to total uh, for viruses and it has been saying no engine detected this file as a virus so i think this thing is pretty safe i mean you can find the like people suggesting this all over the place so i don't expect that uh, that it's really a problem with this tool i've never heard that uh, something from nearsoft has caused any problem but you never know maybe just use uh, virus total and uh, check your installer i mean it's not really installer it's like an exe file which you can really use and before using just make sure it has no virus so that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or even better solutions maybe you have something which i haven't been thinking about which is much uh, better nicer easier solution whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time